most amazing constructions in the world is Sacsayhuaman. This construction is located on the outskirts of the ancient Inca capital of Cusco. There are many unanswered questions about Sacsayhuaman, like who built it, how old is it, and how was it constructed. I'm not going to delve into those questions now. In this video, I'm going to present a theory of why I believe Sacsayhuaman was designed to look like a falcon. Before I get into the design of Sacsayhuaman, I'm going to present what the Spanish chroniclers wrote about it. What they wrote is directly tied to why I believe Sacsayhuaman was designed as a falcon. Although Sacsayhuaman is commonly referred to as a fortress, the early chroniclers were unanimous in their opinion that it had a reputation as a royal house of the sun. Pedro Cieza de Leon, a Spanish chronicler of the conquest times, states in his book The Inca Dominion, quote, the royal house of the sun was located to the north of the city of Cusco, within a colado, end quote. Martin de Muria, also a Spanish chronicler, states that, quote, Sacsayhuaman was at first the house of the sun, and nowadays it is only a witness of its ruin, end quote. Garcilaso de la Vega states in his royal comments, quote, people from Cusco knew, from ancient times, that this architectonic complex was actually a royal house of the sun. End quote. In his chapter 6 of his 7th book, he says, quote, An Inca with royal blood left the fortress as a messenger of the sun. He left the fortress and not the temple of the sun, because it was said that he was the messenger of war, not of peace, that the fortress was the house of the sun. End quote. There are two interesting points in these statements. I will repeat what Garcelaso de la Vega wrote. Quote, People from Cusco knew, from ancient times, that this architectonic complex was actually a royal house of the sun. End quote. So the first interesting statement is that the natives of Cusco in the 16th century spoke of Sacsayhuaman as existing in ancient times. I find it highly unlikely that the natives of Cusco would describe something from the last century, less than a hundred years in the past, as something they remembered from ancient times. I think it is high probability that Sacsayhuaman was built much earlier than the 15th century. The second thing I wanted to point out is that Sacsayhuaman was at first the house of the sun. This point is relevant to why I believe Sacsayhuaman was built in the form of a falcon. Quechua is an indigenous language family spoken by the Quechua peoples, primarily living in the Peruvian Andes. It is derived from a common ancestral language. The word for sun in Quechua means Inti. Inti is also the name of the ancient Incan sun god. He is revered as the national patron of the Inca state. The Inti Raimi, Quechua for Inti festival, is a traditional religious ceremony of the Inca empire in the honor of the god Inti. It was the celebration of the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year in the terms of the time between sunrise and sunset, and the Inca New Year, when the hours of light would begin to lengthen again. The extensive field of the Sacsayhuaman fortress is the site of the third and last act, the most important of the day and which lasts approximately four hours. The ceremony was also said to symbolize the mythical origin of the Inca people. The Peruvian Incas used the falcon as a solar emblem and symbol. The chronicler Sarmiento stated that all the Incas from Manco Capac, founder of the Inca dynasty, and onwards had a double or spiritual brother like a guardian angel. It was represented in the shape of a falcon which they called Inti, the sun. The falcon appears strongly linked to the character of Manco Capac, the first Inca, and the Amautas of his ancestors which is a Quechua word meaning sages or wise people. It is likely that they have preserved the sacredness of this bird in the Inca culture. It is said in legend that Inco Manco Capac, born in Tamputoco, was designated and accompanied by Inti, a falcon belonging to his ancestors Amautas. This falcon who accompanied him in his quest was his hauke, meaning brother. The animal was considered sacred or enchanted and he became an oracle from the reign of Maita Capac. The following text is from page 43 in the book History of the Incas, written by Pedro Sarmiento de Gamboa, translated by Sir Clemens Markham in 1907. Quote, the Incas and the rest of the companies or Ailus set out from their homes at Tamputoco 
taking with them their property and arms, in sufficient numbers to form good squadron, having for their chiefs the said Manco Capac and Mama Huacal. Manco Capac took with him a bird-like falcon, called Indi, which they all worshipped and feared as sacred, or as some say, an enchanted thing, for they thought that this bird made Manco Capac their lord and obliged the people to follow him. It was thus that Manco Capac gave them to understand, and it was carried in vajidos, always kept covered in a hamper of straw, like a box with much care. He left it as an heirloom to his son, and the Incas had it down to the time of Inca Yupanqui. In his hands he carried with him a staff of gold to test the lands which they would come to. End quote. So to recap, we have established that Sacsayhuaman in ancient times was regarded as a house of the sun. The Quechua name for the sun and the Inca sun god is Inti. According to Inca mythology, the first Inca ruler was Manco Capac. Manco Capac was in the possession of a falcon-like bird that was named Inti, also spelled Indi. Before it was the companion of Manco Capac, this enchanted falcon was used by those who were regarded as sages among the ancestors of Manco Capac. The name of this sacred falcon is Inti, which is the same name as the sun god. I think there is a good chance they are one and the same. The name Sacsayhuaman is Quechua and is most commonly translated to mean satiated falcon or satisfied falcon in Quechua. The word Waman does mean falcon in Quechua. The Quechua word for Sacsay has several meanings. It can be translated to mean the verbs to satiate, to satisfy and to swell. It can also mean the nouns satisfaction and swelling. The word Saksa can mean the adjectives frayed, replete, satisfied, satiated, or swollen, as in inflated or enlarged body or body part. So Sacsayhuaman can be translated to mean swollen, inflated, or enlarged falcon. To be precise, it would be spelled Sacsayhuaman, but that is also true for the translations satiated falcon and satisfied falcon, which are commonly accepted translations. When looking at Sacsayhuaman from a bird's eye view, the giant walls look to me like a pair of outstretched wings with the head of the bird on the south side of the wall. Next are some images of vultures in flight to demonstrate how I see Sacsayhuaman in the shape of a bird. There are three gigantic walls with megalithic blocks. The outer wall is largest and stretches over 360 meters. I think it is highly possible that the three walls represents the three layers of feathers on a falcon or hawk wing. When you look at the zigzag walls, they are very similar in shape to the backside of a wing as demonstrated in this image. The feathers on a wing can be divided into three categories. The outer layer is called the flight feathers. I believe the outer wall of Sacsayhuaman symbolized the flight feathers. The middle row of feathers is called greater coverts and I believe the middle wall in Sacsayhuaman represents the greater coverts. The innermost row is called median coverts and I believe the innermost wall in Sacsayhuaman represents the median coverts. The outer wall of Sacsayhuaman has 22 corners pointing outwards and 22 corners pointing inwards, with 44 corners in total. A falcon wing has 22 flight feathers, so with both wings it would be 44 in total. The number of corners in the outer wall matches the anatomy of the falcon wing. The distance from the outer wall to the second wall appears to be almost twice as big as the distance from the second wall to the third wall. The distance from the outer row of feathers to the middle row of feathers on a wing is twice as big as the distance from the second row of feathers to the third row of feathers. So again we see the design of Sacsayhuaman match the anatomy of a falcon. There are parts of the walls that appear to contain structures similar to animal shapes. In my view, this would strengthen the theory that Sacsayhuaman was built to symbolize a giant falcon. These comparisons are from the Museo de Pedras in Cusco.